a girlfriend I could read you all day. Whoa, I did not know that. Yeah, I should probably go film my favorites video. Because I'm turning into a cat because I love cats. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Jazz. I moved my room around if you couldn't tell. I'm not gonna give you an overview because it's super messy. But I'm just, I did move my room around. Today I'm going to be doing my May favourites, which I'm super excited to be doing. I think I'm going to do a favourite for every month. Let's see what I have been loving for the month of May. Oh. So yeah, we're going to start with the beauty favourites. First up I have stuff for sort of like the eyes and I have two palettes this month. The first one is the BOIS Nude Palette nude 2 palette and this reminds me so much of the naked 2 palette like a look at those colors and they're really really highly pigmented and super pretty like this is the black one look how pigmented that is I need a makeup wipe now I think it was $13 but it's super cheap and the eyeshadows are really good and they last a long time and I just really like it the next palette I have been loving is the Chi Chi's Bases palette. I don't know if you can see that. This one sort of reminds me of the Naked 3 palette. And this was 22. They're just, they're really amazing and I love it. Some brushes I have been loving are the Real Technique brushes, like any brush from that range I've been loving. I have the Set brush setting brush and it is so fabulous. I've also been loving the e.l.f. small stiffle brush and this one has some product on it because I used it this morning. But this one is so soft and amazing and it's so good at applying foundation. It really just blends it in. I've been loving these brushes. For foundation and concealer this month I have been using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in the shade NW13 and the MAC this is called it doesn't have the name on it but it's like the extreme moisture cover one in the shade NW15 so it's a few shades lighter and I have been loving these they literally last all day and they haven't made me break out and they just even out my redness and they're so bomb so bomb for mascaras this month, I have been using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And can we just talk about how this physically actually curls your lashes? I don't know, I just really, really like this mascara. And I also have the um, Miss Magna by L'Oreal Paris, the mega volume one. And can we please talk about the brush? It is rotatable. It is so cool. It gives a lot of volume to your lashes. And it is on around the $20 scale. And this one's around the $30 scale. So, but I've been loving them both. So my favorite eyeliner of all time is the Maybelline New York Master Precise Liner. I think the like, little tip is like a pen, like a Sharpie pen. It is so just flexible and thin and it is so good. It is so good for beginners and I just really love this um, eyeliner. My next two favorites are lip products. So this one is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Crayon, I think it's called. But it um, provides really good color that lasts a long time and it's easy to apply and it's very moisturizing. So this is definitely a good product to and then also the Maybelline New York Color Whisper Lipsticks. But 
I know these have been around for a while and I've had this one for a while, but I have just been loving it so much this month, especially because I have chap lips, it's really moisturizing. And my last like beauty favorite thing, well it's actually a nail polish, but Essie came to Australia, I was so excited. I've got one, it's the BG and it's like this pastel pink, excuse my nails at the moment, but it's like this pastel pink color and holy god I love it so much. I love Essie and mm, I'm just so happy. So yeah. Okay, on to non-beauty favourites, which involves anything. So my first non-beauty favourite is my Polaroid, and I've had it for a few years, but I've been using it a lot, a lot, a lot lately. I just love my Polaroid, I just love to take instant pictures and stuff. Next non-beauty fave is selfie stick. So great to take group selfies, you just like lean it out and really wonky at the moment but you're like looks really good <laughs> my next favorites are my girlfriend magazines because these are such a good read and have lots of tips in them I've been collecting them recently they're really nice to read my last non-beauty favorite is Netflix it just came to Australia and I've been watching Vampire Diaries every day couldn't wait for it to come and it came and I have loved it ever since it came so yeah finally my favorite section of this video favorite songs of the month my first favorite song is baby I'm worth it by fifth harmony Give it to me, I'm worth it. Baby, I'm Me next favorite song is Electrified, and I don't know who this is by. I'll put it down there. Now here I go again. You got me spinning. You got me going crazy. And I'm feeling so electrified. My third favorite song is Chains by Nick Jonas. Love that song. So much. Trying to break the chains, but the chains only bring me. And my final favorite song, Somebody by. I don't know, I'll put them here again. <laughs> So that was it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and press that subscribe button down there. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys. Mwah. Let's go down to the tennis court and talk it up like yeah.